In this video, we're gonna be using Old Spice. This is the original scent and the Schick Type E injector razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. And today we have sort of a vintage throwback sort of shave, although I'm not using a vintage cream. Uh, the cream itself is quite old in terms of the scent design. Um, old Spice, I don't even know what it dates back to, but it is a very old scent. We'll be using the cream today, and this is made in uh, India, quite inexpensive. Uh, this will run you on Amazon, this tube, about $6.10 for 2.46 ounces, and on our cost chart, that is an exceptional $2.47 per ounce. The scent on this for me is uh, rather light. We've got it lathered up in the bowl, but I'd call it uh, on the on a scale of one to ten, probably about a three, definitely under medium. Uh, and on my scale, I would say tobacco falls like towards the more strong, strongly scented scents, or maybe some of your Orion and Evans offerings. This one would be towards the mildly scented um, realm. And so, because of that, we're going to start off and just go ahead and and uh, sanitize the platform with a little Old Spice aftershave and get the classic scent going here ah, and that smells great let's slap it on the dome too if you're a bald gent there's no excuse for not slapping that aftershave on the dome and now we're having some great scent now this is not as good as the original um Schulten formula but it's still made and so a little milder um, not quite as herbaceous um but it does have that classic old spice scent we're going to be using the Schick injector razor this is the type e these can be found on um, Etsy or eBay, usually $30 and under. Sometimes if it's hard to get, it can be over that. And they use these injector blades. So the way this works is this injector mechanism, they call it the key, goes into the razor. And then you use this mechanism and you slide a blade into the razor. And this blade uh, has only been used one time, so I know it'll be, uh, it should be for, it should uh, allow for a good shave. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Sorry, already tongue twisted. Uh, let's go ahead and wet the face here. We have about 24 hours growth, which is normal. We're an everyday shaver here. And the lather and the bowl here look great. This, the brush I'm gonna use today was sent to me by David from Augusta. Thank you, David. This is the Ever Ready R40, a vintage brush. And today's shave is in part for Three Stooges, who's one of the viewers, and he was like, hey, you should do a vintage shave, you know, using Old Spice and, and some old vintage stuff. And so here you go. Here you go, Three Stooges. And uh, Three Stooges has been a little under the weather as of late. So we will hope you get to feeling better. Three Stooges, he's been having a rough go health-wise. Um, for those of you interested in an update, my mom, I was able to FaceTime and talk to her a couple of times yesterday. She's doing well. My sister is uh, is is there with her, as I mentioned in the video yesterday. They only allow uh, one visitor. And once they leave, they cannot return. And also, you can't stay overnight. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me that if you're already there and you're not leaving, I don't know why you can't stay overnight, but she can't. So um, that's a shame. But my mom is recovering doing better each day so uh, please continue to keep her in your thoughts and prayers um i certainly am and i can't wait to get down there and and see her i may uh go down there my brother is is there right now sort of helping with my dad and so on because my dad is uh, disabled and uh, once he leaves i may run down there and help out as well we'll just see what happens and see if it's uh needed but sadly you just can't visit in the hospital like you used to due to the Rona. Now, this feels great. This Schick injector, type E, very nice. Uh, the soap, in terms of it needing to do what it needs to do to allow for the razor glide, glide doing well. Had no problems whatsoever lathering it. Um, it made a, a nice lather rather easily. And uh, I use a bowl simply because... Uh, I don't like to get water or hair or anything uh, in my soaps. Now with the cream, obviously you're not gonna have that because you're not gonna lather in the cream unless you have a tub of tops or something, but um, no problem whatsoever 
with slickness here. It feels very slick. I do like the scent, really classic scent. And this blade is feeling really excellent. The injector blades are a little more pricey than, than um, standard DE blades, but you'll probably get more shaves out of them. They are thicker and more rigid. And so generally you'll get more shaves out of them. But if you've never tried an injector, it is a really nice old school type of razor. And I really like the Schick Type E and G in particular. I have always enjoyed it. And that was an excellent first pass, folks. No problems whatsoever on that. This is just plain water um, out of a mission. I want to thank everybody for all your support. Um, I really appreciate it. I want to mention today, I'm going to slip in a winner of a giveaway. Um, I did the random drawing for the Razor Red un uh, Undead. Razor Ruby Undead Soap from First Line Shave. And that winner is Franklin Alden. And I'll show you the, the result there. So Franklin, reach out to me and I will get that out to you. And if Franklin does not claim it within uh, you know a week or so, I'll do another drawing. So thanks to all who participated in that giveaway. There will be more coming. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. And we hope Franklin will enjoy the Razor Ruby Undead, which has not been used. I bought it and it's no longer available. So I'm like, let's just give this one away to somebody who didn't get a chance at it, you know? All right. No problems with this lather. No problems at all. Feels nice. Smells nice. And I love that vintage brush. That vintage brush is one of my favorite brushes. It, it has yet to shed a hair. I'm telling you, they used to make them right. <laughs> I mean, in terms of shedding, that baby has not dropped a hair and it feels soft and uh, I really like it and this injector boy it's really enjoyable this is just going to be one of those nice enjoyable easy going shaves or at least we hope and honestly this cream despite being quite inexpensive it just does a great job I want to mention uh something that I saw yesterday in the news yesterday I saw where Pastor's Pharmacy was uh had a break-in and they did find the, the perpetrator, which I'll show you in a minute. And he was in an alley and he had a bunch of soaps and um, aftershaves hoarded up. And this is what the guy looked like when they caught him. And so um, I tell you, times are getting rough. <laughs> no, that's that's actually Glenn Helly. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Pastors do not get broke in before people start carrying on, uh, that is Glenn Helly. And I just thought that photo was so funny. It looked like a mugshot, like he'd been in a dirty alley <laughs> somewhere. So that's Glenn Helly. And if you haven't checked out his channel, please do. Excellent guy, guy that I talked to quite a bit. Excellent old timer, Glenn Helly. Speaking of old timers, let's mention uh, a channel today. We'll start with the old schooler who we're going to plug and that is Fuzzy. I love watching Fuzzy's videos. He is no nonsense. And he is all about uh, calling it like he sees it, you know, talking about technique, um, trumping everything, which I firmly agree with. Uh, you may not agree with all his views, but, you know, no one should expect that everyone should agree with him. But I find his, his uh, videos entertaining. He calls it like he sees it, which is the same thing I do. And uh, he's fun to watch, so go check out... Uh, shaving with fuzzy. I think you'll uh, appreciate it. Well, you may not appreciate it because look, not everybody likes everyone, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. The other guy, brand new on the scene, the dude of shaving, newbie. Seen a couple of videos uh, of his recently. Um, and he just discovered that the, uh, the PAAL Phantasma razor glows. I think he had it for about a month and he just only discovered that it glows. <laughs> and so... He made a video on that the other day, so check out the dude of shaving. Newcomer on the scene, new kid. Uh, but I kind of like uh, kind of like that video he did and uh, some of his other work. Well, as you know, I'm, I'm breaking Junior's chops um, because he hasn't been making a lot of videos, but he's made a few recently, so that I'm, I'm uh, plugging the new kid <laughs> today just for fun. I want to mention uh, one final thing while we're doing our third pass, as you can see, are no problems with the lather. No problems whatsoever. Performing well, doing well. When I use the um, 
oh shoot, what was it? The uh, several days ago, I used the sebum uh, for a head shave, and it did not go well. But I want to explain my process. I use the same lather lathering method for every soap. Put it in the bowl. I'll, I'll uh, pl I, I will link a video below where I'm lathering kernel conch. And that's the method that I use. And it, it works and has worked over the years for hundreds of soaps, literally hundreds of soaps. So when I get a soap that that met lathering method doesn't work for, which is rare, I don't know that it's ever happened, to be honest with you, where it just flat doesn't work. Um, maybe only a handful of times. I mean, I'm sure it has happened, but it's, I just don't care for it. Now that is my experience. If you lather in a different way, you may have a different experience. And I am not denying uh, your experience at all. So if you really like that product and you feel you're getting your money's worth, then enjoy it because it's really about enjoyment. I did not enjoy it. I did not like it, um, but that's just me. I am just one voice. I recommend, I always recommend that you look to many people and see what their thoughts are and then make your purchasing decision. Um, after having taken in a lot of information, not just this channel. And so I don't put myself out there as the only guy that you should be coming to. In fact, I, I say the opposite. Go watch many different people. And especially before you make a purchase of something of uh, that expense. Now, I am not anti-expensive things, but I just don't find them to be necessary for me. If you enjoy the packaging, if you enjoy the luxury of the experience, that, that is okay. It is not sort of part of my use case. I'm not really attracted to that sort of thing because I find that where the rubber meets the road, which is the shave, I want to enjoy the process of shaving, which is what I'm doing right now. This to me is very enjoyable, very enjoyable, just because the razor's gliding along, no problems with the lather. And I love the scent. Um, I love the, the way that this shave has gone because it's a good shave. That's what I'm in it for. I'm not in it for um, having pieces that sit on a shelf. I'm not a curator of a museum where people are going to come in and go, oh, look at that. I mean, I do like nice looking things. Don't get me wrong, but I am a shaver. So it's important for me that the products work well during the shave. I'm not interested that much in the post shave at all. You know this, I say it all the time. So when, when I'm approaching things, I'm trying to enjoy the shave and I'm trying to share that um, experience organically. You're seeing what happens as it happens. I'm not staging things. Uh, nothing is made up. What happens, happens. And is the case with this these products today, which are very inexpensive. As usual, I get an outstanding shave. Um, it's rare that I don't get a great shave. And I, I made the, um, the sebum work, even though I did not enjoy it, I made it work. And so I just want to make sure you understand that, that whatever happens, happens, and I put it out there. I'm not looking to push you in a direction one way or another. Now, when it comes to t technique, I'm going to try to help you along those lines, but I'm not trying to push you one way or the other. You make your own decisions. All right, let me rinse and we'll come back with the post. Stay tuned. And all right, that was an outstanding shave. No creepers, weepers, cuts, irritation, bubbles, troubles. You just can't beat that. And we didn't have to spend a lot to do it. And that is more than often the case. Most things work really well when it comes down to it. Occasionally you'll have one that didn't, that doesn't work well as, as uh, with the other day, but it's unusual for that to happen. When it does, it does. That's just the way it is. Okay, so off cam we used a PAA Allen block with dry dock, almost no burning. So that was a very smooth shave. We used the Schick injector. This is the type E. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. We used the Old Spice. Uh, original scent cream. This is uh, out of India. Again, very inexpensive. Um, not a not a pricey thing by any stretch of the imagination. It worked well. It made a great lather. Plenty slick enough. No problems whatsoever. And we will finish off today. Uh, even though we used this one in the beginning, we're going to use an actual Shulton old school Old Spice to wrap this baby up, which was sent to me by David. So thank you much. Thank you very much, David. I almost sprayed an earful of that there. <laughs> this one, the old Shulton, 
formula is far more, I would call it spicy herbaceous. It's, it's got more pop to that spice. And I really like that. And we still got a lot left there, or at least half the sample. So thank you very much, David. I really appreciate it. Thanks to you all for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention our brush. Again, one of my favorite brushes. This is the Ever Ready R40. Huh? Can't see that very well. Um, but this is a vintage Badger brush. It did an excellent job. Thank you very much again. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.